Blowers um, that Senator Grassley mentioned a priority going forward. I'll be working with our colleague from Iowa as I, I will. Senator Brennan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. And uh, Commissioner Werfel, thank you for, for being here. I, I am uh, considering taking a political risk this morning, which is to use the words good news and the IRS in the same sentence. Uh, but I think there's something that I, I really want to call out at a moment when there is a lack of confidence among the American people in our governing institutions, and particularly in the deployment of technology by, um, by uh, government agencies. I'm going through that misery myself, as the American people are, with what the Department of Education has failed to do on the FAFSA form, a form that Lamar Alexander and I worked for years and years and years to try to improve. And now the American people are having to struggle with the, you know, absolute disaster that that has become in terms of implementation. And I have to say, it appears to me that the IRS's direct file effort um, uh, may be a model of government technology implementation. That certainly has been the experience of people in Colorado. I know that there are around 100,000 Americans who have used this to, to file their returns. I hope many more states are going to have the, benefit, the chance to participate going forward. You know, there are a lot of Coloradans that have interest in, in using this tool going forward. So I just could wonder if you could talk a little bit about how you were able to, to successfully deploy this, uh, Commissioner, and, and what do you think made the direct file effort successful, if it was, um, that we could learn from in other um, technological implementations across the federal government. And I apologize for that sounding like such a ridiculously softball question, but it's such a rare occurrence that I thought it was important to give yeah. you the chance to talk about no, it. No, and I appreciate that. And look, I am uh, proud of, of, of what we're able to accomplish this filing season. I'm proud of the success of the direct file pilot. I also acknowledge that there's a lot more work to do. And as I look across the IRS, there are areas where, where we can learn from the success of the direct file and our own technology operations and our own management success. And I'm gonna learn from it as well. Um, I think uh, first, uh, Big, big decision we made was not to go too big and to make sure that we focused on what I'll call executional certainty. We could have tried to release direct file to way more states and to have way more taxpayers eligible to use it in this first year. But what we decided to do was find that right first step where, it, where we could test uh, the, the interest, the demand, the user experience, the cost, but not try to, you know, to hit a home run uh, at our first at bat. Uh, and so we went out to 12 states, and based on the way we scoped it, 19 million people were eligible. We could have scoped it a lot bigger. We also, we waited until March 8th. Filing season started January 29th. We could have gotten excited and said, let's release this to everyone first day of filing season to try to really um, kind of drive a, a, bigger, a bigger impact. But we wanted to take weeks working with, with a small number of volunteer taxpayers to see how their experience was, to work out any bugs. Anytime you do something for the first time, there are going to be mistakes. So lots of testing, lots of um, uh, prioritizing executional success versus the big splash. And, uh, and I think also uh, we worked across government. This, this was done not by IRS alone. We had a lot of help from, uh, from people at GSA uh, in 18F, and we had a lot of help from the US Digital Service in particular, um, who brought agile technology product expertise they worked side by side in a team room at IRS headquarters. It was inspiring to visit that team room, see the energy and excitement, and see different parts of the government working together uh, so well. But ultimately, and this is a little geeky, it's, it was agile technology that was the eye-opener. Uh, there's a whole discipline around how you move more quickly to deliver incremental functionality, how you strip through bureaucracy and get decisions made more quickly, that you take calculated risks more regularly. And, 
And the IRS is no different. Federal agencies tend to not be agile when they do technology. That's why you hear about projects taking five, six, seven years. Here, by sizing this in an increment, an increment that had impact, we were able to be more agile, have executional certainty, and launch something that we can all learn from. Where direct file goes from here, we're not ready to announce that. But one thing's for sure, taxpayers had a positive experience with it, and we all learned a lot from this experience. And I think my, my colleague, and I would just say to him, I don't think in the history of the Finance Committee we have ever heard anyone give an eloquent explanation of incremental technology, or excuse me, incremental functionality.